The state legislature is now in special session working to figure out Nebraska's new voting districts, but some voting rights advocates are raising concerns about the way this process is done. A panel met today in 3 News Now reporter Jessica Edson shows us what Nebraskans are saying about the pending changes. It's a decision that will shape Nebraska elections for at least the next decade. As Nebraska's legislative leaders convene to decide how to redraw the state's political map, voting advocates are hoping they'll stick close to the census data and steer clear of partisanship. Redistricting is not about candidates and it's not about incumbents. It's about voters. That's what we have to center. That's what we have to focus on. That's what we have to get right. They say with data coming late, senators are working under a short deadline to find the best solution. And they should be utilizing and still can utilize um, the powers that they have available to build in recess days, to build in a, a more uh, workable time frames. This speedy process could also keep Nebraska's second house, the voters, from having a proper say of who they'll be casting their votes with. Nebraskans have been shortchanged. Uh, maps were dropped in the past week, and now we have hearings. Uh, we worry there's not enough time for the average Nebraskan to review, to form an opinion, and to participate. A real concern with some of the proposed maps is that communities will be splitting their vote, or it will be diluted. By surrounding it with unrelated uh, uh, voters that will, in effect, reduce the impact of the vote, like in North Omaha. Reporting in Omaha, Jessica Edson, 3 News Now. Three public hearings are scheduled for this week in Grand Island, Lincoln, and Omaha. Black Votes Matter will also be hosting its own meeting in North Omaha on Tuesday. Iowa lawmakers are also busy redrawing new boundaries for the state's congressional and legislative districts. Officials behind the redistricting say the, they expect to deliver the first maps by this Thursday. The Iowa Constitution requires legislative districts to have them signed by the governor and enacted by September 15th. But that deadline won't be met this year due to census data coming in later than usual this year due to the pandemic.